Hello everyone, welcome you to the daily weather briefing of India Meteorological Department. Today's main highlights are cyclonic storm Senior over Strait of Malacca and adjoining Northeast Indonesia. Under its influence, isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall likely over Andaman and Nicobar Islands on 26th and 27th and isolated heavy rainfall on 28th and 29th November. Due to the oil mark low pressure area over southwest Bay of Bengal and adjoining areas of uh, South Sri Lanka and Equatorial Indian Ocean, heavy to very heavy rainfall likely over Tamil Nadu during 26 November to 1st December with isolated extremely heavy falls on 29th and 30th November. Isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall also likely over coastal Andhra Pradesh, Yanam and Royal Sima on 29th and 30th November. Observed weather during last 24 hours is uh, heavy rainfall uh, occurred in the Tamil Nadu, uh, Ramanathapuram district and dense fog uh, occurred in uh, Meghalaya and Himachal Pradesh. Cold wave conditions were seen in Punjab and Jharkhand. If we talk about uh, cyclonic storm Senior, that yesterday's depression over Strait of Malacca moved nearly westwards and intensified into a deep depression and lay centered at 23-30 hours IST over the same region. Further, it moved nearly westwards and intensified into a cyclonic storm Senior uh, and lay centered uh, at 5.30 hours of today over Strait of Malacca and adjoining Northeast Indonesia. This uh, cyclonic storm moved west uh, southwestwards with a speed of 13 km per hour in the past 6 hours and crossed uh, Indonesia coast uh, near 4.9 degree north uh, between 7.30 to 8.30 hours today and uh, lay centered at uh, 8.30 hours of today over coastal areas of northeast Indonesia near latitude 4.9 degree north and longitude 97.8 degree east. It is very likely to continue to move west southwestwards and maintain the intensity of cyclonic storm till 27th early morning. Thereafter, it is very likely to recurve eastwards with gradual weakening during subsequent 24 hours. Today's main synoptic systems are yesterday's oil mark low pressure area over southwest Bay of Bengal and adjoining areas of southeast Sri Lanka and equatorial Indian Ocean persisted over the same region at 8.30 hours of today. It is very likely to move nearly north northwest towards and intensify into a depression during next 24 hours. Thereafter, it is very likely to intensify further and continue to move north northwest towards across southwest Bay of Bengal towards north Tamil Nadu and Puducherry coasts during subsequent 48 hours. A fresh western disturbance is seen as an upper air cyclonic circulation over south Afghanistan between lower and middle tropospheric levels. An upper air cyclonic circulation lay over Tripura and neighborhood in lower tropospheric level. Now if we talk about forecast of minimum temperature, no large change in minimum temperature likely over northwest India for the next 24 hours. Then there is a rise by 2 degrees centigrade for the subsequent 3 days and thereafter fall by 2 to 3 degrees centigrade. No large change in minimum temperature likely over west India for the next two days afterwards a gradual fall in minimum temperature by 2 to 3 degrees centigrade. No large change in minimum temperature likely over East India for the next 24 hours and gradual rise afterwards by 2 to 3 degrees centigrade. No large change in minimum temperature likely over Madhya Pradesh and Vidarbha for the next 24 hours and gradual fall in minimum temperature likely by 2 to 3 degrees centigrade 
thereafter. Over Chhattisgarh, gradual fall in minimum temperature likely by 2 to 3 degrees centigrade for the next two days and no large change thereafter. No significant change in minimum temperature likely in northeast India during next five days. Now if we talk about the subdivision wise warning for the next seven days. For day one, orange warning is given for very heavy rain in Andaman Nicobar. Yellow warning is given for cold wave in Punjab, for fog in Himachal Pradesh, Assam and Meghalaya and for heavy rain in Tamil Nadu, Kerala. There is a possibility of thunderstorm in Tamil Nadu and Kerala. For day two, orange warning is given for very heavy rain in Andaman and Nicobar. Yellow warning is given for uh, cold wave in Punjab for fog in Himachal Pradesh and Haryana, for heavy rain in Tamil Nadu. There is possibility of thunderstorm in Tamil Nadu and Kerala. For day 3, orange warning is given for very heavy rain in uh, Tamil Nadu and Andaman and Nicobar Island. Yellow warning is given for fog over Himachal Pradesh and Haryana and possibility of thunderstorms is there in coastal Andhra Pradesh, uh, Rayal Sima, Tamil Nadu, Andaman Nicobar Island. But day 4, orange warning is given for extremely heavy rain in Tamil Nadu and for very heavy rain in coastal Andhra Pradesh and Rayal Sima. Yellow warning is given for heavy rain in Andaman Nicobar Island. Possibility of thunderstorm is there in uh, Tamil Nadu, Andaman Nicobar, coastal Andhra Pradesh and Rayal Sima. For day 5, orange warning is given for extremely heavy rain in Tamil Nadu and for very heavy rain in Rayal Sima and coastal Andhra Pradesh. And in this region, there is a possibility of thunderstorm is there. For day 6, YOLO alert is given for heavy rain in uh, Tamil Nadu and coastal Andhra Pradesh and for day 7 there is no warning. Fishermen are advised not to venture into the marked areas of Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea for the next 5 days. Now it is the time to explore the theme of the much awaited India International Science Festival 2025 which is going to be held on December 6 to 9th uh, organized by the Ministry of Art Sciences along with the Government of India Scientific Ministries. Prepare to participate, especially students, by registering via the IISF 2025 website registration form link. Thank you for watching. For more details, please visit our website mausam.imd.gov.in. Jai Hind.